Folks, I am a really big fan of the Street Fighter character T-Hawk. He's been my main in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo for like over a decade at this point. And he was also my main in Super Street Fighter 4 when they added him in that version. And, uh, you know, he was kind of a weak character in that game. He was generally considered very low tier, but I had a lot of fun playing him anyway. So I was really hoping with Street Fighter VI, we might get a chance to see T-Hawk again, but we actually didn't. Instead, we got Lily, who actually shares a lot of similarities with T-Hawk in terms of her playstyle and just the look and application of her moves. So today I wanted to talk about something that might be a little bit controversial to say, but it's that I think that Lily is generally an improved version of T-Hawk. I think she's better than T-Hawk in a lot of key ways. I'm not talking about her character or her look or anything like that. If you prefer those things about T-Hawk, that's obviously understandable. But in terms of the way she plays and you know how effective she feels in game, I think she is actually a pretty big improvement over Street Fighter IV T-Hawk. I'm not gonna be comparing her to Super Street Fighter Turbo T-Hawk. I mean, like, he's such a unique thing. He doesn't really play like anyone else. He's a really strange and awkward character that can just win off one hit. So it's very difficult to compare across that game to Street Fighter 6, but Super Street Fighter 4 T-Hawk and Street Fighter 6 Lily are very similar. And overall, I would say Lily is a bit of a step up. But first, let me go through. There are some things that Street Fighter 4 T-Hawk does do better than Lily. I'll cover those first just to be comprehensive here. Uh, probably the biggest one is that he actually can stay close to the opponent after landing his spinning pile driver, his Mexican Typhoon. He can stay close and continue to apply pressure. But with Lily's command throw, you can see we're left completely full screen. So there is like really no way that I am getting pressure here. We're going full screen. What they want you to do off of this is set up a win stock, which, you know, it's fine that she can do that, but generally getting the pressure while the opponent is waking up is a lot more valuable than just getting one win stock. Yes, she can do dash up EX Spire, but that can be dragon punched on reaction. So I don't really consider that that good of an option either. Second, T-Hawk actually has invincibility on his EX Dragon Punch. So he is going to be able to go through enemies' attacks by spending this meter. Lily, on the other hand, her EX Dragon Punch is not invincible. You can see I lost the EX meter there, but I still got hit out of it. She's gonna have to use her level one super to get out, which is a nice option that T-Hawk doesn't have, but yeah, she won't be able to just use EX bar to get out. Also, speaking of his EX DP, he can cancel his EX DP into EX dive on block, which will make it generally safe in mid screen, which is a nice little way to bail yourself out if it gets baited. Lily cannot cancel from EX Dragon Punch into EX dive on block. This only works on hit. And then finally, the last big strength that T Hawk has here is his ultra. So he's got this 720 ultra that is extremely damaging. And because of the way ultras work, in Street Fighter 4, you're probably going to get this once per round, so you get a lot of chances to use it. And the big thing is that if you use Ultra, the opponent cannot jump out uh, after the screen freeze. So no matter what Poison does in that situation, she is guaranteed to get thrown because she wasn't already escaping before the screen freeze. This is one of my biggest complaints with Lily is that her level 3 Ultra, it is a grab, uh, but it is unfortunately jumpable after the screen freeze. So it's not a mix-up tool really at all. It's pretty much just a combo tool. So T-Hawk can't combo into his ultra. Lily can combo into her level three. So there's some benefit there, but generally I would prefer the mix-up tool if it was me. Okay, so those are enough of Lily's disadvantages. Let's talk about her advantages because in my opinion, she has quite a few. One of them I already showed, which is that she has a super that can actually be comboed into. So T-Hawk, his super is a command grab and his ultra is a command grab. And super takes a long time to get in Street Fighter 4, so you rarely get one in just one round, whereas Lily can oftentimes get two supers per round. So the fact that she has a super combo ender is really nice. It's also an invincible move for her, like I showed. So the fact that she has supers that actually hit the opponent and aren't just grabs is a really useful thing. She can also juggle into her level two super 
T-Hawk doesn't have anything like this, so she has lots of ways of tacking on damage to the end of combos that way. And in the corner, her juggles can get really insane. She can even do combos like this and then juggle into level two. So not an option T-Hawk has available at all because again, his super is a grab and his ultra is a grab. That's the only way that he can spend meter. So while we're talking about hit confirming, let's talk about these two characters' ability to hit confirm into special moves off of normal attacks. So you can see Lily, she can do two hits into Dragon Punch. T-Hawk, he can do two hits into Dragon Punch. Okay, they can both do that. But Lily, she can do three light attacks into Condor Spire, and that works anywhere on screen. On the other hand, T-Hawk, he cannot. You can see she can block it. It's not a real combo. So this is actually a pretty big problem for T-Hawk is that if he does basically three attacks, there's nothing he can really do after. His best link here is he can go into crouching medium kick, which doesn't go into anything. The combo's over and you've sent them like half a screen away, which is not ideal because it would be nice if you could do three attacks and then either go for a throw or go for a combo, but he doesn't have that option. Whereas obviously Lily, she can threaten with multiple jabs into command throw versus, you know, threatening with multiple jabs into Spire for the comp. Lily also has way more cancelable normals. Let's take a look at what normals can be special canceled for T-Hawk. He can cancel his jabs. He can cancel his far light kick, but he can't actually combo off this. You can see far light kick doesn't combo into EX Spire and it doesn't combo into Dragon Punch either. So he can't combo off that. He can cancel his close medium punch but he cannot cancel his far medium punch. Can't go into special moves off that. He can't cancel far medium kick. He can cancel crouching medium kick, but again, there's no way to get a combo off it. You can see they can either block the attack or the attack just misses. He can't cancel his crouching heavy punch. He can't cancel his close heavy punch. He can't cancel his close or far heavy kick and he can't cancel his crouching heavy kick. So really, there's basically like two moves that you could use to set up combos into special moves. You can do close medium punch. You can see you can do two close medium punches into EX Spire, but you can't actually do that off of a jump in. You can see the second one, you'll be too far away. So he can't do two uh, close medium punches like that off a of jump in. So really like this is his only hit confirm that works in like most situations is light kick, light punch, into Dragon Punch. So let's compare that to Lily. So similarly, Lily's light attacks, you can cancel into specials. You can do three light attacks into a special, which T-Hawk can't do. Her standing medium kick is special cancelable. That goes into combos. Her crouching medium kick is special cancelable. Her back heavy punch is special cancelable. Her standing heavy punch is special cancelable. Her down heavy punch is special cancelable and you can combo into basically whatever you want off that and then the same as t-hawk neither of her heavy kicks can be special cancelable but that is so many more moves that you can use to go into specials and because of drive rush these moves can also be drive rush cancelled and you can use them to extend your combos in drive rush as well so she just has so many moves that you can just throw out all the time and back up with the power of a special move to have the threat to go into a combo. I would say this is definitely one of the biggest pain points of T-Hawk. There's so many situations where it's like, okay, I okay, I landed three hits and it's like, what do I do? There's, there's literally no way for me to do a combo here. Best thing I can do is like that and then maybe go for a mix up, but you can't actually get any confirmed damage at all off of like multiple hits, which really limits his hit confirm ability and forces him to go for much more hard reads, you know, like just doing like a two piece or something like that, or, you know, doing a lot more throws to try to get your damage rather than relying on combo damage. Okay, so we talked about their cancelable normals. We talked about their combo potential. Let's talk about Lily's unique mechanic. This is something T-Hawk doesn't have at all. And it's something that's really strong. It is her wind gauge. Wind gauge? is kind of bonkers. So if you have wind gauge, this is gonna power up most of your special moves. So you can see, you can juggle into non EX DP if you have wind gauge. Normally you're not allowed to do that. It also makes her 
Condor Dive more damaging and safer on block. But the big use of Wind Gauge is gonna be for Condor Spire. Condor Spire becomes an insanely good move with Wind Gauge. For example, she cannot combo into non-EX Condor Spire without wind. But if she does have wind, she can freely, so it opens up her combo possibilities. But perhaps even more important is the frame advantage. So you can see if I just cancel into that move from close range normally, I'm minus eight on block, so I'm punishable. But if I cancel when I have a wind gauge, I'm plus one on block, it's still my turn. So obviously as a grappler, being plus one on block in the opponent's face is incredibly strong. So anytime she has a wind gauge, Condor Spire becomes a massive threat in neutral where you can just win neutral by doing one special move and all of a sudden it's your turn and you're right up in the opponent's face where you wanna be. Wind gauge also allows her EX Spire to go through fireballs. And I mean, look at how far away you can punish a fireball with EX Spire, it's insane. You can do it from like nearly full screen basically. Whereas if we look at T-Hawk, his EX Spire is not going that far, so it's pretty hard to actually punish fireballs with this. A lot of times, people are just gonna recover and hit you afterwards. So yeah, Wind is just ridiculous. Getting as many of these stocks as you can is really good, and she can build up stocks by doing moves that actually hit the opponent. So you can build and spend stocks, you know, in the same combo by doing stuff like that, and you'll deal a huge amount of damage. It's not really something T-Hawk can do, is big combo damage. He does big throw damage, but combos in Street Fighter 4 for T-Hawk, not so much. And then one last thing I wanted to talk about in Lily's favor here is going to be her anti-air. Lily has some of the best anti-air in Street Fighter 6. So Lily's Dragon Punch is completely invincible to airborne moves. This is a normal thing in Street Fighter 6. Most characters' anti-air attacks are coded to be completely invincible to anti-air attacks. So it is impossible for your Dragon Punch to lose to a jump. T-Hawk, on the other hand, his Dragon Punch loses to jump-ins on a regular basis. You really have to hit them like high in the jump for this to work. If you wait until the last second, uh, a lot of times you'll actually get hit out of it unless you spend EX. So really, he has to spend EX bar to get a reliable Dragon Punch anti-air in a lot of situations. He can anti-air with Crouching Heavy Punch, which is a good anti-air. It's pretty good, but he just doesn't get anything off this. You know, like he can't cancel it anything or whatever. The opponent just techs out and you kind of go back to neutral. Lily, on the other hand, because she can cancel her down heavy punch into special moves, she actually gets juggle combos off of her anti-air. So down heavy punch is actually a preferable anti-air for her compared to Dragon Punch because you can get more damage. And if you have wind stocks, you can start to go, you know, really crazy with this and get these massive juggle combos like I showed you earlier. So her anti-air is a huge threat and that's powerful as a grappler, you know, because people want to jump. They want to get away from your command grabs, but then yeah, as soon as they jump, they might be entering into a world of hurt. So her anti-air is strong. I think her command throw is pretty strong, even though it does leave you full screen. And obviously her wind stocks are incredibly good combined with, you know, the normal poking game that you might see from T-Hawk, all these things combined, I think go to make Lily a pretty formidable character and one that feels like a big step up coming from Street Fighter 4 T-Hawk. But what do you say we go online? Let's see if I can put it to the test in a match here and uh, see if we can get the dub. Wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna hop into ranked. All right, we got ourselves a match. It's against a Jamie player. Let's see what we can do with old Lily here. Playing a little footsies. Generally, my goal is, you know, push him into the corner where we can apply some SPD pressure, get wind stocks, because that makes it a lot easier. He got out, but it's fine. I'll take another stock. Woo! Nice! DP is smart there since I'm plus. I'm just gonna go back in again though. Go for a little shimmy here. He definitely outranges me, but it's fine. We got that iconic stand strong poke from T Hawk. Yeah, stop that. Iconic stand roundhouse as well. I missed the punish there, so unfortunate. Okay, good jump out. 
Oh, no time for me to do it back there, unfortunate. I was mashing it. Nice dash under. Hold up. This guy's got some good ideas here. Nice! Andy knows the answer to that two-piece string. Very good. Wait a minute. I'm gonna wake up super. Did he bait it? Oh my god, he's actually a genius. Doing empty drive rush there is crazy. I'm gonna do another wake up super though. I think I can still snatch this round. Get one stock, go in. Get another stock. Go in. Wow, he recovered so fast. Oh my god, how did that hit me out of the air? Alright. What? Oh, that's his install. Bro. I'm not gonna wake up super, I feel like it's too obvious. Trying to bait. Drive rush there. Drive uh, impact, that is. Wow, that was an insanely good DI. That's crazy. This guy really, really knows this matchup. No punish there, though. That's a huge opportunity for me. There's that bait that I was looking for. We can easily kill here. Whew. Okay, there's game one. That was a little spooky. A little spooky. Looked like he was figuring us out a little bit, but we just got to play nice and solid. Whoa, interrupted? Oh, wow. He's doing it again? I thought you would have learned that I'm looking for that. Nice anti-air. Take the punish counter there, though. Whew. The optimal stuff. Let's go. One more round, baby. One more round and we shall put it away. Yep, and we can bait the anti-air with that. Classic T-Hawk tactic. I'm going in. Alright, I see you. I don't really know what to do here. Oh, he went for command throw? You're crazy. Oh. Neutral jump? Nice. Probably shouldn't have spent my meter there. Oh, no! He slapped me from so far. Okay, 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 okay. We have a little bit of meter advantage here. Oh my god, it's getting hit by those all day. Yes! I don't think this is actually going to kill. Yeah, that was a bit of a tactical error. Oh, but it's okay, we got the god poke. Woo, that was a tight set, man. That was very scary, I gotta say, but uh, very well played to our Jamie player opponent. And thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how you feeling about Lily. Do you think she's a good character? Do you think she's a, a worthy replacement to T-Hawk? I'm curious about your thoughts, so let me know down in the comments. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.